Haunted History, Preston Manor A beautiful manor that dates to 1738, with some architecture on the land dating back to the 1200s, the land upon which it sits, was once held by the bishops of Chichester, until the dissolution of the monasteries. It is believed by some to be the most haunted building in Britain. Paranormal activity includes physical manifestations, disembodied footsteps, and unexplained noises. The ghosts who haunt Preston Manor include the ghost of a nun often referred to as the White Lady, who reportedly contacted people through a seance, claiming she could not rest because she was buried on unconsecrated ground. In early 1897, remains were found and were deemed to be hundreds of years old. The family reinterred the bones in the churchyard, and the spirit has not been seen since. The ghost of a gray lady has been witnessed by many descending the manor's grand staircase. Her identity remains unknown. A disembodied hand has also been seen by guests of the southwest bedroom, running up and down the bedposts. Haunted History, Leicester Guild Hall One of the best preserved timber frame buildings in England. With the earliest parts dating from 1390, the building was originally used as a meeting place for a religious group of businessmen known as the Guild of Corpus Christi. It has seen various uses over its lengthy history such as a public library and a station for the Leicester Police Force. It is currently used as a museum and performance venue. Paranormal activity reported includes physical manifestations, disembodied voices and screens, as well as people suddenly feeling unwell without explanation. Ghosts reported at Leicester Guildhall include a white lady who is rarely seen though many believe she is responsible for moving furniture and opening a closed Bible. The spirit of a woman in Victorian dress is believed to surround the old cell area, which is also believed to be haunted by an old policeman. Finally, many believe that they have seen the ghost of a cat and dog whilst being in the building. Haunted History, White Hart Hotel the White Hart Hotel is found in one of the oldest parts of Lincoln and located between the historical Lincoln Castle and Cathedral. The existing building gates to around 1650 and has seen several extensions and renovations take place over the years. With the latest happening in 2022, several reports claim that the hotel is one of the most haunted places in Lincoln. However, many who have stayed or worked at the hotel also claim they experienced no paranormal activity. The ghosts of the White Hart Hotel include the spirit of a highwayman with a disfigured face, who is said to run through the building hiding his face. Local legends say he attempted to rob a coachman, who fought back with a torch which set him alight. A spirit commonly known as the Mobcap Girl is often seen cowering in a corner on the first floor. Local legends say she was a maid at the hotel, who was murdered by its rat catcher after she turned down his advances. Finally, former staff claimed to witness an old lady wandering aimlessly on the lower floors. However, when they approached or called out to her she would simply vanish. Haunted History, Bolsover Castle Located in the town of Bolsover in Derbyshire, the late 17th century castle stands upon the grounds of what remains of the original castle that was believed to date back to the 12th century. The original castle saw various battles after it was built, but fell into a state of disrepair until the castle was purchased by Sir Charles Cavendish who would look to rebuild the grounds to their former glory. In a poll taken in 2017, it was voted the most haunted site by English Heritage staff. Paranormal activity reported by staff and visitors include cold spots, spirit lights, disembodied footsteps, voices, and screams, and the slamming of doors. The spirits reportedly haunting the castle include a small boy who is believed to touch the hand of ladies as they walk the grounds, but as they look to see who is responsible, they see nothing. The spirit of a gray lady, 
is seen in various places around the grounds and has a fondness for vanishing into the walls. Another unidentified female ghost is seen near the entrance to the courtyard. She lets her presence be known through an unexplained smell of lavender. Haunted History Stocksbridge Bypass Reportedly one of the most haunted stretch of roads in South Yorkshire and many believe the most haunted in Britain. Local folklore says that the area was steeped deep in paranormal activity that has only increased since the bypass was built. Workmen involved in the building of the bypass would often hear children playing late into the night. When they would investigate, they would find nothing. In 1987, the activity would even spoke to security guards who believed they witnessed children playing around the electricity pylons. However, when they approached, they would vanish. Another incident involved two police officers in their patrol car. They described an eerie feeling and sudden chill. When one of the officers looked out of their window, they claimed to see the figure of a hooded monk. When the other officer checked their window, they saw the same figure. However, when they stepped out of the car to confront the entity, it vanished. Since then, many claim to have seen the same entity while driving there late at night. Interestingly, the area was once home to monastery farms. Haunted History, Busey Old Hall A beautiful brick building from the late 16th century, the lands and hall were once used to house the Lords of Warrington. From the 13th to the 17th century, the land once belonged to monks of Titley Abbey, until they were purchased by Sir William Fitzalmeric Le Bottler. After his original home burned down, it has seen various updates to it, its structure over the years, and currently houses several flats and is a grade two listed building. The hall has seen various ghost stories attached to it. Over its long history, the ghost of a white lady is said to roam the building and the grounds. Some local legends believe it to be Lady Isabella, the wife of the 12th Baron, William Fitzalmeric Le Bottler. The hall is also believed to be haunted by a former servant of the Warringtons. The servant was accused of the murder of Sir John Bottler in 1521 and was hanged. Some say he roams the grounds as he was hung from a tree on the estate and able to rest in peace because of his crimes. Haunted History, Stockport Masonic Hall Built in 1868, the Masonic Hall was originally a school called Brentnell Street School, which taught students for over 60 years. The building was eventually taken over by the Freemasons in 1932, who continue to use it to the present day. The hall was also used for homing evacuees during the Second World War and currently hosts events such as weddings and conferences. It has seen various reported paranormal activity including shadow figures, spirit lights, disembodied voices, and a sensation of being watched. The ghost of a female has been witnessed by both visitors, staff, and paranormal investigators around the area of the stairs. Though her identity remains a mystery, some believe that she may have been one of the teachers from the Victorian era when it was a school. Haunted History, Oakhampton Castle The remains of an ancient castle that was built between 1068 and 1086 after a rebellion in Devon against Norman rule. The castle remained a fortification until the 13th century, when the de Courtenays became the Earls of Devon and it became a hunting lodge. The castle came into a state of disrepair. In the early 16th century, however, after Henry Courtenay was executed by Henry VIII, paranormal activity reported in the area includes spirit lights, disembodied noises, and physical manifestations. The spirit of a woman, who many believe to be Lady Howard, is said to haunt the area, and there are multiple legends as to why. One such legend claims she was responsible for the death of her four husbands. For penance, each night she must pick a single blade of grass from the hillside before returning to the ruins. 
Only when the hillside lays bare will her ghost be forgiven. Another legend says she makes her journey in a carriage, made from the bones of her former lovers, driven by a headless horseman and a demonic hound with red eyes. Haunted history, Haver Castle. A beautiful castle located in Haver, Kent, with the earliest parts of the castle dating back to the late 1200s. The castle has seen various owners throughout its history. However, the most notable would be the Berlin family who owned the castle until the death of Thomas Boleyn in 1539. Upon his death, it passed to Henry VIII, who bestowed it to Anne of Cleves in 1540 as part of his divorce. The castle has passed through various owners until 1983, where it was purchased by the chairman of the business Broadband Properties Limited. Various paranormal activity is believed to have taken place at Haver Castle, including spirit lights and physical manifestations. The ghost of Anne Boleyn is believed to be the primary spirit that haunts the castle. She has been reported wandering the gardens and seems to glide over the bridge that crosses the river. She seems to appear at the castle around Christmas Eve. The ghost of a farmer also haunts the grounds. Some believe he was murdered for the money he may have had on him at the time. Finally, the spirit is both seen and heard groaning, wandering the gallery, though its identity remains a mystery. Haunted History, Battle Abbey A partially ruined abbey in East Sussex that is located on the site of the Battle of Hastings. After the war was over, Pope Alexander II ordered that penance must be paid for all the bloodshed during the battles in England. William the Conqueror would deem that the battle site would be the home of a new abbey, and construction began. Unfortunately, he would not live to see it built, as he died before its completion and consecration in 1094. The abbey would see multiple additions to its structures over the years, until the dissolution of the monasteries where much of the building was destroyed. The site is currently in the care of the English heritage. Various paranormal activity has been reported at the abbey over the years, including disembodied screams and voices, physical manifestations and spirit lights. The ghosts of knights are believed to walk the battlefield on the anniversary of the Battle of Hastings on October 14th. The spirit of King Harold is also believed to be seen around the abbey grounds, with an arrow in his eye, on the spot where many believe that he fell. Various ghostly monks have also been reported on the abbey grounds, particularly around the ruined rectory where they would once gather in the evening. 